Uh, the coronavirus is hitting some of our most vulnerable communities in different ways. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs has seen an increase in the use of mental health services by veterans. And military mental health expert and Syracuse University visiting professor Dr. Kenneth Marfilius joins us right now to discuss some resources for our veteran community that may be struggling. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me on and bringing attention to this important topic. All right, the first question for you with regards to COVID-19, how is technology being used to care for patients and their families? Yeah, so COVID-19 has really accelerated the uh, digital transformation across all sectors. We were obviously already heading in this direction. However, the virus has forced us to think of ways to adapt and uh, leverage technology in every facet of our lives. The pandemic has exposed many of the social inequalities that we have known to exist and have now been brought to the forefront. Um, it has exacerbated the pre-existing racial and health inequalities, really disproportionately affecting communities of color and those with pre-existing conditions. Our so veterans are part of the social fabric and they have not been spared. Oh, wow. So Doc, how is telehealth being used to combat social inequalities that we see in the healthcare world? Yeah, great question. So fortunately, the, the U.S. Debar Department of Veteran Affairs was prepared having utilized telehealth prior to the pandemic. And we now see how vital it is to the overall health of our nation's heroes. So virtual mental health care and telehealth in general provides us with a unique opportunity to break down many barriers and bridge the gap. As a result of this technology, uh, veterans can now receive care in the comfort of their, of their homes without having to worry. They may already have an anxiety condition that has now been exacerbated. So no need to worry about transportation. Those who may live in rural areas sometimes have to travel hours to the closest VA facility or encounter wait times social stigma, and even caregiver or family obligations. So technology and telehealth have eased these burdens. And there are many positive financial implications here also for both the veteran and the provider. They can receive on-demand services in times of crisis. And there's no doubt that the pandemic is stressful. All right, and timing, of course, is crucial when you talk about getting help for our veterans dealing with this pandemic. Why is it very important for them to seek out care uh, sooner than later? Yeah, so prevention, right? How do we prevent and treat? When mental health is left untreated for extended periods of time, we know that there could be several consequences. For example, waiting to seek treatment could impact relationships, your functioning at work, and people with untreated mental illness make up a significant number of Americans experiencing homelessness. So folks in the community often ask, how can they help? How can they help a veteran? And so, you know, through actively listening, expressing empathy, and, you know, really being willing to be part of what I call an integrated network of support perhaps most notably expressing that they're not alone. And it's important to engage in this, la this language so these individuals don't feel other and begin to isolate, which really only per perpetuates the risk involved with PTSD, depression, and anxiety. That's another good point there. Uh, what are the resources and community networks that are available to them? Yeah, so there's local vet centers, uh, VA hospitals. Um, through that, there's a VA benefits and claims, a robust system. So those who may be diagnosed with a military-related mental health disorder could be eligible for service-connected disability compensation and treatment. Um, one of the best places to start is really by contacting your local VA. Veterans looking for help uh, can find information on their local facility's website or even call the Veterans Crisis Line at 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. All right, and a final question for you. Why is there a continued need to reduce the stigma around mental health issues with veterans? And uh, is it not being done to address suicide prevention within the veterans community? Yeah, so there's, there's strength in seeking help. Reaching out for social support really protects all of us. It protects yourself, your family, the one who care about you, your communities. A stronger veteran community is a stronger American society. There's always room to do more. Again, I think sometimes the easiest thing to do is just be there for one another. Call a veteran. You don't need to be a trained therapist to save a life. So I'd like to talk less about stigma and more about the inherent strengths of the human condition. We all have them. How do we continue to find them and use them to help one another? This can be done via text, phone call, or a virtual session. There are so many options now at our disposal and what a unique opportunity to really leverage them to benefit all of society. I like how you said you don't have to be a trained therapist to save a life. Uh, Dr. Kenneth Marfilius, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it and the best of luck to you.